Hi, kindergartners, it's Mrs. Lynch. Today, what you're gonna be doing with me is we're gonna be doing some math stories. So the way that this is going to work is that I'm going to read you guys four different math stories. And then the fifth math story is up to you guys to re think about your own math story, write it down, draw a picture, and then share with your teacher. So if you were in my class, you would share with me. If you're in Mrs. Devlin's class, you would share with her, and so on. And the way that we want you guys to share with us your math story is through your portfolio on Class Dojo. Now, hopefully you guys all set that up. If not, you can just watch the quick video on how to do that or use the PowerPoint that Mrs. Hansen created. So what I would like you guys to do is if you didn't already print the math story worksheet, you can quickly set up your own. Now I didn't print it, but that's okay because I have blank paper. You can put your name and numbers one, two, three, four, five, all the way down. And I put little lines just to separate my story so my pictures don't get all meshed together. So it's up to you guys the way you want to do it. So I'm gonna give you guys like two seconds to set that up. Parents, if you need longer, pause the video. Okay, so hopefully you guys are ready to go. Now remember, I'm going to read you guys a story, and then you guys are to decide if it's addition, and then you would use the plus sign if it's addition, or subtraction, and then you would use the minus sign if you think it's subtraction. So are you guys ready for the first story? Okay, here it is. Four silly seals are splashing in the water. Two more silly seals come and join them. How many silly seals are splashing in the water? So four silly seals are splashing in the water. Two more silly seals come and join them. How many silly seals are splashing in the water? So draw a picture and write an equation. So you should have done four plus two equals six. Give yourself a little check if you did that. Okay, the next story. Larry has seven yummy Skittles. He eats three Skittles. How many Skittles does Larry still have? So Larry has seven yummy Skittles, my favorite. He eats three of them. How many Skittles does Larry have now? So this story is a, a subtraction story. So you should have done seven minus three, because he ate them, they're gone, equals four. Larry has four Skittles. Give yourself a check if you did that. Okay, story number three. Three airplanes are flying in the sky. Five more airplanes join them. How many airplanes are flying in the sky now? So three airplanes are flying in the sky. Five more airplanes join them. How many airplanes are flying in the sky? So you should have done three plus five equals eight. Okay, last problem and then your turn. Problem number four. Six girls were playing soccer in a field. Three girls had to go home and do some chores. How many girls are still playing soccer? So six girls are playing soccer in a field. Three girls had to go home to do those chores. How many girls are still playing soccer? So you, this is a subtraction story, so you should have done six minus three equals three. Now it's time for you guys to make your own story. So remember, be creative. It could be addition. It could be subtraction. We want the stories to be within 10. So don't get crazy. Don't go like 10 plus 10 or 20 minus 4. We want them to be within 10. So make your problem. Write down your equation. Show us your picture. And then send us a video or a picture through Class Dojo's portfolio explaining your story. We can't wait, boys and girls.